do this all in one take, I promise. All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the round table. My name is Tom, and let's talk about The Girl from Dinosaur Island. It's a Nickelodeon short on Nick Animations, the YouTube channel, and it has a young warrior girl named Zochi and her dinosaur friends Chuck and this pterodactyl named Taro, as in the first part of Pterodactyl, and he's voiced by Aaron Hansen, also known as Ego Raptor, which it's cool, but I say that with the belief that this show has a really good chance of getting greenlit just based on this short. I know I'm not the person making these decisions as to what should and shouldn't get greenlit. Like I've said before, I'm just a YouTuber, I'm not a network executive, but if I was, this short has just about everything I would be looking for in a potential successful cartoon. Sochi is a well-intentioned but childishly reckless main character, and her friend Chuck proves in this three-minute short alone to balance out that recklessness with rationality and a healthy dose of paranoia. Taro seems to fill the role of the caretaker when these two go on their adventures, and I honestly think Aaron Hansen's voice really contributes to that, and hopefully if they greenlight this show, he signs on full-time, but I don't know, I know he's got a busy schedule. And if not, now I hope they find some of a similar tone and presence in their voice because it really helps. It really sells the character. And for all three of these characters, I really feel a desire to see them develop more, and that's teased a lot in the bickering dialogue we see. The plot of the short is that the trio is chasing after an unknown antagonist aircraft to retrieve their friend, an egg named Paul. The dialogue implies that the events we're witnessing are something outside of their recent status quo, while also implying that this isn't the first in their series of adventures when Chuck says, This isn't getting any easier, Sochi. And Sochi responds, I don't know. I I think we're getting pretty good. She also mentions that soon all their friends will be safe, meaning that this is only one step in their journey. This is followed up by an action sequence of Chuck and Zochi escaping the aircraft before it crashes and they fly away with Taro, but Paul slips out of their grasp and the title card rolls and we're left hopeful for what this could bring down the line. It ended on a cliffhanger, man. You gotta do more. You can't just leave it there. I mean, you can, but that's not nice. It gives a sample of what the show could be, giving an idea of what the world is like, what the opposing forces are, who are the characters, and what are their motivations. More than anything, it got me personally invested enough that I'm interested in seeing more. I want to see what kind of world building this show could offer, what development they can give these characters, and more than anything, who are the bad guys? And why are they trying to take what I assume are dinosaur eggs? It's also interesting to see a young girl protagonist who doesn't have any outright feminine characteristics. This character is a common way of doing the young adventurer, and that's a pretty gender neutral role to play. And it helps not only for young women to be able to see themselves in such a role, but also for young boys to see women in roles like this so they can hopefully grow up seeing their female counterparts less as mysteries to solve on the journey to stealing their hearts, and more so as just humans who have their own stories, perspectives, and values. There has of course been an influx of girl protagonists in animation with a number of different personalities, and that's great, having a variety of different types of girls and women playing leads is important. My point is that I've yet to see a female lead like this in modern cartoons, who takes on personality traits and behaviors that are traditionally associated with boyhood and masculinity. And I'm happy because I know that there are young girls out there who are like this, and they deserve to have stories about someone like them, just like anyone else does. Am I saying that young boys and men don't deserve to have stories about them? Not at all. It's just the fact that media has been primarily dominated by stories about men, and by men for such a long time that those stories are already out there, and as a result, they just aren't in a high demand right now. Something to consider is that usually shorts like this are animated with just an idea of what the show will look like in its final version. Assuming this short gets greenlit to be a full series, and this is their pilot, it's already gorgeous. There are some things here and there that could look a bit sharper or more detailed, but imagine how this could look refined with more time and more artists to get things really polished. This short might not be the greatest piece of art or writing or storytelling I've ever seen, and I'll admit that, but something I see a ton of in this is potential. And that's the main building block to realizing a successful project. Anyways, have you guys seen The Girl from Dinosaur Island? If not, check it out and tell us in the comments below what you think. Or tweet me at TommyPQM, hit us up on all those social media platforms. And while you're at it, why don't you check out our Patreon? For just $3, you get access to our avatar, scripts, and you even get early access to some of our videos. Higher donations can get you a shout out for your channel, site, blog, or anything you want to promote. And with your, I just hit the mic. And with your help, we can give back even more in the future. Make sure you like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the bell to never miss a video. My name is Tom, and we'll see you next time.